gonna be a, a pretty simple video. It's gonna be kind of a, a quick tip style video, and it's based on the last video that I did about the FX3 and the A7S3, how I said you should buy the A7S3. Well, mainly it's about the part in that video where I talked about S Cinetone, and I and I grabbed the edge of the frame, and I pulled my color grade across, and I put it back on, and then I pulled it back across, and then I kind of did one of these things, and then I put it off. Ah, uh, Morgan got a big kick out of that. She asked how I did it and said that I should make a video about it, so this video's for Morgan. And you guys, it's a it's a super fun little effect to do, and you can do it pretty quick in Premiere Pro. Yeah, so any kind of like little thing that you're gonna do where you're gonna put an effect onto your footage, you could you could show a before and an after by doing that, or you could pull it up from the bottom. I mean, no, you really can't. How can I grab? Oh, I could pull it up from here, right? Right here. I could pull it up from the bottom and then put it like, <laughs> there's all sorts of things you can do. Be creative. And I hope this video helps you guys. If it does help you, hit that like button below. That helps me a ton. Seriously, YouTube really cares about the like button. I don't know if I've emphasized that enough on this channel, but yeah, the like button, it really matters. And thanks again for hitting it real quick. Okay, I'm gonna grab this footage and I'm gonna pull it into Premiere Pro. So we're gonna use the footage of me when I just did, I just did this thing. There we go. Okay, I got the clip imported into Premiere Pro and uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna do this up real quick. So here is the clip in Premiere Pro. All I'm gonna do, it's, it's actually quite simple. We're gonna use an adjustment layer on top of our clip and then we're gonna take that adjustment layer and we're gonna move it out of frame and back into frame and we're gonna keyframe it on my hands position. When I first did this, I was like, oh, I'll just put one keyframe here and one over here and clearly my hand is smoothly going across this. It's not. It's you got a keyframe like every few frames. Keyframe, keyframe, key. You'll see. Here we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is grab an adjustment layer, drag this on top and drag this over the little section of clip that we're working on because this is the section of clip here. Well, mainly it's about the part in that video where I talked about S Cinetone. So first thing I'm gonna do is pop over to color. I'm gonna do a quick color grade and then, then we'll continue with this. Few moments later. All right, so I'm doing the, the color correction again and I, I'm liking S Cinetone more and more as I use it. I really don't have a lot to do to it. And even in that last video, I did such a minor grade that, that kind of when I grabbed it and I pulled it out and I put it back, you almost couldn't see the line. So we're gonna bring up our blacks just so that it's a, a more kind of faded look to everything. And and this before and after should be enough. Yeah, we'll be able to see the line this time. So this isn't the color grade that I would normally do, but it's kind of an exaggerated color grade, just again, so you can see the line coming across, but yeah, use it how you will. All right, so let's go to the beginning. I'm gonna mute this because we don't need to hear me talking. But right here, we're talking about s tone. I reach out and grab it, and I'm gonna just step through frames right here. Right as my hand starts to move, so right there, boom. I'm selected on the adjustment layer. We're gonna go back over to my editing. I'm gonna go into effect controls, and I'm gonna try to make this nice and big because this is where we are going to do our keyframes, all up in here. And basically we're just gonna do a positional keyframe. So we're just gonna move the position of the entire frame out and then slowly move it across and then slowly move it back again with my hand. So we'll do, we'll say that the, the thing is color graded and then I will pull it off to show the off, the not, wait, what did I say? And then I pulled it back across. So off is what I'm saying and then I'm pulling it I'm pulling the color grade on and then I'm putting the color grade back off. So I'm gonna start with the before. And so basically what that means, is I'm gonna take the adjustment layer and I'm gonna move it completely out of frame to begin. So is when it starts to move and right there is when the, the adjustment layer, the change, the grade should be out of frame completely. So all we're gonna do is grab the position. You can even can see I'm actually sliding it to the left and I'm gonna line this line that I can now see. I'm just gonna line it up right out of frame, right here, boom. And I'm gonna click this little guy here to set a keyframe. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click my, my forward frame button, which is just the right arrow, three times, maybe four, and then I'm gonna move the thing and hit a new keyframe. One, two, three, four, and I'm gonna move, we can zoom in on this up here. I'm gonna move the frame so that the line matches back up with my hand. Go one, two, three. 
and move that line. One, two, three. Move that frame. One, two, three. Move that frame. And each time I'm making it so the line is right on my hand. And the effect should look like I'm actually dragging that line across the screen. Uh-oh, where'd it go? There it is. Bing. Two, three. And it's off. So that's all I'm really doing is I'm just moving the adjustment layer to match up with my hands and adding keyframes up here every few frames so that it will uh, just track really easily with it. This is a super basic way of doing this too. There's all sorts of fancy ways to track things to each other, but this is like 101. All right, so let's go back in. We'll see exactly what that looked like. So now we hit play. We're talking about a tone. Reach out and grab it. Pull it across and back and across and back. We do kind of the wibbly wobbly. Uh, that was it. That is a very, very easy way to do a super fun effect in your videos where you want to show change of your color grade or whatever it might be on top of your base layer. So anything you can put on an adjustment layer, you could do this with because you could stack, you could stack them and you could make like one adjustment layer come in from this side and one, one from this. You could do, you can do anything. Anything that you get creative with, you can use this technique and it's it's quite simple. I know Morgan was was wowed at my amazing video editing skills. <laughs> but yeah, it's super simple. Anybody can do it. And uh, yeah, I hope it's helped you guys. If it did help you guys, hit that like button. That helps me a ton. Maybe shoot to the merch shop and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Very soon because a new box, a new box just showed up at the, the house and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go open it, play with it. I'll tell you what it is soon. Nah? Oh, 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 they sent fun stuff too. Well, that was nice of them. All right. Well, I'll show you this soon. Very soon. See ya.